and welcome to Food Fest. I'm Lizzie J. And I'm Wayne Barrow. You're joining us today for a one-off special, which is jam-packed with tasty food and exclusive performances. Now we have our in-house chef, Jade Nelson, who will be cooking up three delicious dishes to get you in the festival spirit. Yes, Lizzie, I have a delicious burger and posh hot dog recipe for you all and a gorgeous halloumi wrap coming up. Oh, sounds delicious. I can't make to eat one of them when I get home. Sounds like she's cooking up a storm in there, doesn't it? <laughs> now, remember, you can always get in contact with us and let us know what you think of the show and all the entertainment right here at Food Fest. All you need to do is check out our website and all of our social network links, which are displayed at the bottom of the screen right now. Yes, they are. But now, to kick off our show, we have a singer-songwriter who reached the final six to represent the UK for the Eurovision this year. Here, performing a new track from his debut album, this is Carl William Lund. Can you hear me, little one? Please don't you run far, far from home I'll give you all the time you need to breathe And keep wearing that heart on your sleeve Black sheep, black sheep are the family Black sheep, black sheep are the family Carry, carry me Don't you go searching for what's not there If you need to crash and burn, I'll help repair It all lies there in the eyes of your son And it's down to you, my love what I've become Black sheep, black sheep of the family Black sheep, black sheep of the family Carry carries me Carry carries me Can I find a way out of this? Out of your red wine lips Out of your red wine lips It's too cold Can I find a way out of this? Out of your red wine lips Out of your red wine lips It's too cold Black sheep, black sheep of the family Black sheep, black sheep of the family Black sheep, there's nothing you can do Carry, I'll carry you Carry, I'll carry you You Wow, that was a delicious performance, wasn't it, Lizzie? What are you like? There's a pun for every occasion. <laughs> it's got to be done. <laughs> now, a festival wouldn't be a festival without alcohol. So here is a quick way to make a Bayesian rum punch. Mm. That cocktail looked delicious, didn't it? I'm definitely going to be making one of those after the show. But now, Wayne is joined in the kitchen with Jade and Carl. Wayne, what a great performance that was, wasn't it? It was brilliant, wasn't it, Lizzie? Amazing. Now, uh, here I'm joined with Jade and Carl. And so, Jade, what are you going to be cooking up for us today? Well, we'll be making a simple yet delicious halloumi wrap. 
for you all here at home to see and I'm going to ask if Carl can help me. Yeah, absolutely. I love halloumi. Let's go. Oh, good old halloumi. <laughs> so what are we going to be doing today? What are we going to be doing with the halloumi? Right, first we want to cut that into slices, mm -hmm. not too thin. Okay. Yeah, that'll see, be fine. See, I like halloumi because I don't eat chicken anymore, oh. but when you grill it, it's got a similar texture yeah. to grilled chicken, it's hasn't a, it? That's so. a perfect alternative to, to chicken, isn't it? Yeah. It's brilliant. Now, Carl, can I just ask you a couple of questions while you're cooking? Yeah, of course. As well? um, so, obviously, you were in the, the Eurovision. How was that yeah. process? Uh, it was crazy. If anyone's watched Eurovision, you know that it's, you're not quite sure what to expect. Um, it was a really intense week, but it was such an amazing experience. It was the first time I've actually sung completely live on TV before, which was very daunting, but um, it was brilliant. I got some really good feedback and it was a great platform for myself. And do you think it built up your confidence then? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, if, if your nerves are good, you have to be nervous for things like that because it helps you through the performance. Um, but it was, it was brilliant. So it's a very, uh, very memorable thing. Oh, brilliant. Now this is smelling delicious already. Yes. I, I cannot begin to explain to you how amazing this smells. And I love halloumi anyway. I cannot wait to see this. So what are we doing now? We're, we're grilling this halloumi, are we? Yeah, we're just grilling it slightly. I haven't added salt because halloumi is quite salty already, yeah. so you don't really need to add it. I added a bit of black pepper. So we're just going to grill that on both sides. Maybe you can just have an extra cocktail to help with the, uh, the dryness of the mouth. Well, <laughs> everything's yeah. sort of alcohol related anyway, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, why not? Let's go with the theme. I'm yeah. living it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, so, can I just ask you another question? So, yeah. um, you performed your new crack. Uh, Crack? Track, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get my words out. So what actually inspired that track? Uh, well, I wrote that song a few years ago. Uh, I wrote it when I was a living, living away from home, so away from family and friends. So it's kind of my homesick song, um, but it's about my sister, Kerry. That's why it's called Kerry, because it's at the new. Self-explanatory, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> and um, I don't know, it's, it's just... I'm talking about my love for her and for my family in general, I suppose. That's quite sweet, that is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. I can I genuinely, I keep saying it, I can't wait to taste all of this. So, after you've grilled this, uh, Jade, what are we going to do with it? What, what's the next process? Right, then we're going to cut some peppers up. Do you want Carl's going to cut some peppers. Oh, yeah. And we're going to place that on the grill, too. Mm, nice. Then we're just going to add some salsa to the wrap and then put everything in. Nice, there it's all go. nice and fresh ingredients as well. It all, yeah. It's all coming together lovely already. So does it matter what kind of peppers you go, what kind of colour peppers you have, like red peppers, green peppers, or is it um, so particularly... Well, the more colourful, the better. Yeah. So anything you can find. Do you want to chuck these on? Yeah, you can just chuck those. Carl, as well, can you just tell us about your debut album as well whilst you're throwing those peppers yeah, on there? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, um, I've, I've had a few EPs that I've released online, but they were songs that weren't recorded for a, a specific project as such. So this is my first full-length album. Um, there's about 11, 12 tracks on there, and then we're going to bring out a deluxe version. But um, I've been working on this for about a couple of years now, and now feels like the right time to get all these songs out there and in, in the open. So. And have yeah. you had a lot of... So I know you said you had a lot of positive feedback from um, the Eurovision, but sort of have you had much exposure from that? Has that helped you with yeah, your career? Yeah, you my, my, my fans and followers have just shot up since as a result of that experience, which is brilliant because that kind of platform, you're just reaching a whole new level of people and people all across Europe and all over the world, which is really daunting, but it's, it's really nice that people are out there listening. I was going to ask, was it overwhelming yeah, for you? Yeah, it was, yeah. it was at first, but, you know, people have... People message me every day to say that that song found them at the right time or they really relate to those lyrics, which as a songwriter, that means a lot because I try and write in a way that it can relate to anyone, I suppose. Oh, that's fantastic. That's brilliant. <laughs> so now we're, we're grilling the peppers then, are we, at the moment? Yeah. yeah. What are we doing next then? Right, if you just get one of those wraps. This one here? Yeah. Yeah. I'll let yeah. you guys do all the, the food prep. I'll, I'll stand back and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Safe distance. <laughs> and then you can just get one of those tiny spoons yeah. and These? spread on some of this salsa. Yeah. Nice. So in here we've got tomatoes, some onions. herb seasoning, onions. Yeah. Okay. So this would give it a nice kick then, wouldn't it? That, that kind of salsa, yeah. that nice edge to that as well. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, it's all coming together. Lovely. I can't <laughs> wait to taste this. This is going to be incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just, um, do, do you like cooking, Carl? I mean, is it something yeah, you enjoy? Yeah, like absolutely love cooking. Before music, I worked in bars and restaurants for years, so I was surrounded by food. Um, I spent more of the time in the kitchen than I did 
do my job as a waiter <laughs> because I loved learning. I loved teaching myself new recipes and hosting dinner parties and showing off my new skills and what I'd learned in the, in the kitchen. So, Do you have a favourite dish then to cook for you? Um, oh, there's, there's lots really. Um, there's a really nice Brazilian curry called a zinzim, which a is zin -zin. a zinzim. Zinzim, yeah. Zinzim. It's, it reminds me of being back in Liverpool and working in this restaurant. It was my favourite job. It was great. And that was their signature dish. So it's crayfish, a sauce that has peanut butter, coconut milk, lime juice, tomatoes, turmeric, really nice creamy it's like, dish. It sounds like it's full of flavour. Yeah, it, it really is. And I always do it at dinner parties because it goes down really, really well. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Very lovely. So now we're popping all the, the, the ingredients into this wrap yeah. now, are we? Yeah. yeah. So then what you can do, just close that up. And now, I always <laughs> think this is the tough bit because yeah. I can never, ever wrap a wrap no. without everything falling out. So is there any tips and tricks for that, Jade? Um, just try and hold it all together as you're rolling it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good tip. Try and hold it all together. <laughs> stick helps. I never have one of these at yeah. home. Yeah, yeah I think helps. we need to invest in these. They're yeah. like sort of bigger cocktail sticks, aren't they? Yeah. Just to, to stick in there. That is looking incredible. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is the moment of truth now as well, isn't it? When it all finally comes together. Yeah. Yummy. Oh, that looks yummy. I really want to taste this already. I just want to scuff all this food down. <laughs> So, uh, what else are we doing? So, we've got your, your halloumi and uh, salsa and peppers in there. Yep. Uh, what else are we going to be cooking up today? We're going to be doing some gourmet burgers, and we're using that serrano ham and some cheese. Oh, incredible. So, posh burgers. Yeah. I, I love the word gourmet. It's like posh. Yeah. <laughs> so, how, how are we going to be cooking all these as well? Okay, we're going to be cooking them from fresh. So, we're going to actually get the raw mincemeat. And we're going to season it up. Nice. And then we're just going to make up some burgers and shape them up and then put them on the grill. And that's it. We're Fantastic. Right, incredible. Uh, so here is all you need to make this delicious wrap. So we're about to go over to my toughest part of this job, the, the, the bit of the job that I hate the most, the tasting, of oh course. <laughs> uh, none for you guys, all for me. I'll see you soon, okay? okay. <laughs> Nicole, should, should we have a, a taste of this yeah, then, shall we? This looks ahead. incredible. I'm gonna this have this big, is the moment of truth now, got the biggest it? bit, I'll be polite. Wow. Let's see how this is. Mm. Mm. Oh my cheesy goodness. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That cheese works beautifully with the salsa and yeah. gives it that kick, doesn't it? It's incredible. Definitely. Well, thank you very much, Carl. Thank you. You're going to be heading over um, and doing a performance for us soon. Cheese all over the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep the microphones clean. <laughs> but we'll see you shortly uh, for your amazing performance that we're going okay. to see. Thank, thank you. you very much. Now, we've been receiving a lot of tweets from you all, um, so let's read a few, shall we? Now, at Roberta Lambert says, hashtag food fest. I'm excited to watch Carl's performance on the 22nd. Well, you definitely should be. Um, at fan girling Lucy says, so pumped to see Lucy Morris perform on food fest. Well, so am I. It's in just a mo. Uh, at the Met Christophe says, I can't wait to try and make that gourmet burger. Hashtag delicious. Hashtag food fest. Now, our next performer, it is time. You've been waiting. It's YouTuber who has a sensational voice and is an upcoming new talent. Here is Lucy Morris. When your legs don't work like they used to before and I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Cause darling, I will be loving you till we're 70 and Baby, my heart can still fall as hard I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just a touch of a hand Or me, I fall in love with you every single day And I just want to tell you I am So honey, now 
Face your head on my beating heart I'm thinking out loud Maybe we found love right where we are When my hair's all gone and my memory fades And the clouds don't remember my name When my hands don't play the strings the same way I know you will still love me the same Cause honey, you're so Can never grow old It's evergreen And baby, your smiles Forever in my mind A memory And I'm thinking about how People fall in love in mysterious Wow, thank you, Lucy. How good is she? Her vocals are incredible, aren't they? Wow. Now, here is how to make a classic summer drink with a little bit of a twist. It's an alcoholic mm -hmm, ice fruit slushy, which contains kiwis, strawberries and Malibu. Turn up out of the blue, uninvited, but I 
couldn't stay away I couldn't fight it I'd hoped you'd see my face And that you'd be reminded that for me It isn't over Never mind, I'll find someone like you I wish nothing but the best for you too Don't forget me, I beg I remember you say Sometimes it lost in love But sometimes it hurts instead Sometimes it lost in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Wow, thanks very much. Lucy Morris, everybody. And of course, Alex as well. Thank you. Thank so, you. Lucy, what we're going to do now, we're just going to have a little bit of a chat and let everybody know a little bit more about you. Sure. If that's all right. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Okay, so do tell me, um, what was it that made you first start singing covers on YouTube? I was about 13 when I started singing and I just found that YouTube was a really good space to put my music out there and see if anyone wanted to listen. And well, it is, and we do, <laughs> we do. Um, so also, you're currently, are you writing any of your own songs at the moment? Yes, I yeah. am currently working on an EP that I'm hoping to release early summerish time. Oh, nice. Very exciting. Well, do keep us updated with oh, that, yeah. definitely. <laughs> and would you... Who would you love to collab to collaborate with? I can never say that word. <laughs> um, it would have to be Adele. I Adele. just love her. Yeah, she's so down to earth, but she manages to write these incredible songs. So. I'll tell you what, actually, you are very reminiscent of Adele. <laughs> yeah, That's lovely. Very good yeah, really thank nice you. voice. <laughs> and what is, lastly, thank you very much, what is the next big step for Lucy Morris? I have just released a collaboration with one of my friends, which is really exciting, and I have a gig, my first gig next week, which is for Cancer Research, which should be really good. Wow. Well, best of luck with everything. Thank you thank so you. much for joining us today, and thank you very much, Alex, as well. Now we're back in the kitchen with Jade. So, Jade, what are we going to be doing this time? Right, we're doing some gourmet burgers and we're going to be doing some posh hot dogs. So Ooh. we've got these on there now. Very nice, very nice. Is there anything you want me to do as well help, to help out? Yeah, you could just keep turning those over. Just so giving they me don't the nice burn. easy jobs, you yeah. see, because <laughs> I'm not very good in the kitchen. Uh, so just flipping the burgers. Yeah, and I'm nice just going to cut easy. these. So talk me through what you're doing at the moment then, so I can see you're chopping up tomatoes as well. Yeah, we're just going to slice some tomatoes, because that will be the garnish. This just smells incredible, doesn't yeah. it? It absolutely smells delicious. Um, I can see there's loads of other stuff. So we've got some pesto, mayonnaise. What, what are we going to be doing with that? Right, we're going to mix the pesto and the mayonnaise together. This Ooh. is basil pesto. So but what's the difference? Is it just literally basil that's been mixed into the pesto? Yeah, it's just got a bit more of a flavour rather than the regular pesto. Oh, do you know so what? That's I done. just wish you guys could smell this because it's just... Wow, just absolutely wow. That's all I can say, yeah. it's literally all I can do. So how do we know when these burgers and, and hot dogs are ready? Am I overdoing yeah, them Yeah, I think they're just about <laughs> done now. Right, we're going to get some lettuce. And I'm going to put that there. And then this, is, this is the salad bit, the healthy bit. Yeah. <laughs> the you nice and healthy salad, bit, yeah, of course. And I can see we've got this here as well. So what's this? Um, this is serrano ham. Okay, right. Um, so what, what's the difference in, in, lot, in sort of it's, ham? It's very similar to parma ham, but it's got a better flavour, it's better quality. Right, okay. And you'll find it's a bit more expensive. <laughs> it's not parma ham, it's something slightly better than... Yeah. Than parma, slightly better or a lot better? A lot better. A lot better, okay. Better so you know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here to observe, that's, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> so now we're just going to add the cheese, and then we're going to take some of the strips of the serrano, and then just add that on top. So uh, with parma ham, some people t t sort of don't tend to like it so much because of that kind of flavour it does. It has in there. Is this just so much sort of richer? Is it? What, yeah, what's the, what's it's the difference in taste? Because I know you say it's a little bit better, but in what way? It's a lot more. It's got a smoky flavour. Ah, and it'll, right. It'll be better on like an antipasti. Oh right, so, okay, lovely. Yeah. Everybody here is just like, can we just eat some of this now? Can we just give it a go? Right, I've got a couple of plates here as well, so I'll um, I'll bring these over for you. So we're just gonna pop the top on. Oh, I've done the wrong one. We've got an upside down yeah. burger today. There we go. We've got a couple of plates there for us. And then we're just gonna put these sticks through it. 
I love how everyone puts cocktail sticks in burgers. Yeah, you get it in all restaurants, don't you? Yeah. It really, really does add to presentation. These look delicious. And I cannot it. wait to try these. These are going to be absolutely amazing. Now, we've got the burgers ready. So that's the burgers. Um, we've also got hot dogs as well. So how are we going to finish those hot dogs off? So if you just pass me like two hot dog buns. Here we go. Thank you. I'm just going to... Now, just a, a, a little tip for you guys at home. Please do be careful of fingers. I know we, we hear it all the time, but yeah. don't cut your fingers off, please. <laughs> <laughs> please don't, because uh, we don't want to be held liable for it. <laughs> so now that these are ready, we're just going to pop two in there. Oh, this is just... <laughs> oh, I can't wait to eat this. Uh, so what are we going to put in with those uh, hot dogs? Are we just going to have them nice and plain, or are we going to pop any, nope, any sauce in there? No, we're going to use that pesto oh, mayo yes. that we prepped earlier and we're just gonna top it off with that this looks very luxurious doesn't it yeah very very I know, gourmet the color looks a bit no a bit off, see i i think it's nice it's to have a bit of color isn't for. it i think it's always good to have a little bit of color because sometimes when you're looking at bland food yeah. you think there's not going to be much taste to this yeah. is there but when you've got that sort of pesto in there i think it just it looks like it's so flavorsome yeah. and so rich which is is delicious more color more flavor that's what we like I to see that's exactly what i like to see oh my goodness and there you are. okay so let's pop these on these plates as well burgers and hot dogs but posh style this is uh, phenomenal absolutely phenomenal uh now if you want to have a go at uh, making these at home uh here we have the ingredients for you take a look at this Now this looks and smells incredible. Yeah, I think we should. And this is the best bit, isn't yeah. it? We, we should definitely get, give it a go. In. You're going for the burger, I'm going to go for the hot dog, yeah? All right, then. And let's see how this goes. I don't know how I'm going to eat this. There's so much on here, but <laughs> wow. Right, let's give it's this a, a go. It's a bit messy. Mmm. <laughs> wow. So much flavour in there. Mm. That, that pesto works so beautifully with the Indians mm -hmm. as well. Mmm. Incredible. How's the burger? Beautiful. <laughs> As you can see, we're really, really enjoying this at the moment. Those flavours are just perfect. Um, but thank you very much, Jade. It's been lovely having you on. And nice that time. is all we have here for us at Food Fest. What a great show. Now, remember, you can watch all the performances from both Carl and Lucy on our website. And there's also exclusive performance from them uh, as well on there. But now, here to end the show with his Eurovision hit, please welcome Carl. William Lund. Feeling like I don't belong. Can I find another son? Go ahead and say it. Go ahead if you dare to dream. And I want to fly in your arms. You take me home. me reach all of my dreams I'm not alone Miracle oh, oh, I feel you coming Miracle oh, oh. Chasing down your star will never be the same again It's beautiful oh, oh. This life I'm living beautiful if you can only see me breathing and believing, I'll be there for life. Give up all your thoughts of lack. What you give now, you get back. A body says I'm fading, but you keep me hoping I breathe. And I want to fly in your arms, just take control. Help me reach all of my dreams Let me let go